What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Folks, it's Thursday. We are so close to the weekend. I can't wait. Too bad it wasn't a payday Friday. That would have been magical. But it's August 3rd. We got amazing news coming out. Listen to these headlines we're going to go over in this video. We're going to talk about the XRP price and the price chart and where we might be going because you might be looking at a golden buying opportunity here. We're going to talk about XLS 30D. That is right. What it means. How you can get involved with staking your XRP and earning additional XRP back by staking or putting your XRP into a liquidity pool. What is automated market makers? I got you covered. We're going to really go over this and I'm going to beat it down. And when you walk away from this video, you are going to, you're going to know exactly what this new proposal is. Bitstamp. Major announcement coming today in regards to XRP and the XRP ledger. Let's try to take our best guesses at it and figure out what's going on and what could be the big news. Remember, Ripple did acquire a percentage of Bitstamp, folks. Something's cooking, something's brewing. I got you covered. Let's jump into this thing. Bitcoin, $29,202 is down 1.18% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum, coming in at $1,838. It's down 1.13% in the past 24 hours. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is about to break that range. We don't want it to break 66 cents. It's down about 4%. Remember, 65 to 69 is that oh so important level. That's where we need to hold. If we don't, down goes Frazier. We're going to see a 50 cent XRP. That's going to be the next stop for us. I covered this. I called this. I even remember someone tweeting at me in my DMs saying, Where's XRP's next stop if we don't hold these levels? And my targets, I told them exactly, 50 freaking cents. Well, in the 50 cent range, I can pull up the exact DM in a later video to show everyone. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 1.178 trillion. Long ways off from an all time high, folks. Tony gets into this. He's like, listen, 50 cents would be easy for this chart. There you go. You can see with a massive retrace all the way back down to that 50 cent region. He's like, that would be so cliche if that just happened from here. Make them bullish again. I agree. Let's make these markets bullish again. But we know the SEC is doing everything in their power to try to shake you out and try to scare you out. If we do retrace and get back into that 50 cent region, folks, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. A 20x in crypto can happen overnight, bring us to bring us to a $10 XRP valuation. A 40x We've seen this happen to cryptos each and every time. And now we're going to have institutional money coming on board. We're getting more news from these banks, from these central banks, from these remittance companies. XRP is bullish long term. And when I'm talking long term, I'm talking about starting in November of this year when the bull run kicks up and kicks into place, leading us into 2024, possibly even 2025. Now, XLS30D. Let me grab a sip of my coffee so we're prepared to go over this. Lewis Jackson put a thread out. He said, everyone's asking me to explain XLS 30D. So here's a thread that will bring you from zero to somewhere in the region of 75%. I'll fill in the other 25%. Don't you worry. XLS 30D is a proposal for implementing automated market makers on the XRP ledger and is packed with complex mechanisms and potential uses. At its core, an AMM is a type of decentralized exchange that relies on mathematical formulas to price assets. Instead of using an order book like a trading exchange, an automated market maker uses a liquidity pool to enable trading. I want to touch on this. Mathematical formulas to a price asset. Who remembers the paper from, who was it, Susan and, and Robbie, who used to work for Ripple, that they took the mathematical formula and they figured out the price of XRP and it should be anywhere in the range. What did they say? Like seven to thirty-two dollars. I like when math kicks in for XRP. He states in the XLS 30D proposal, each automated market maker instance has two asset pools and a unique liquidity provider token. When you deposit assets into the pool, you receive LP tokens that present your share of pool. So you put XRP into the pool. You get back 
these liquidity provider tokens, which represent your share in a pool. It says, imagine Alice and Bob create an automated market maker on the XRP ledger for XRP to USD trading. Alice puts in a thousand XRP and a thousand USD. She gets back 2000 liquidity provider tokens. Bob then adds 500 XRP and 500 USD and he gets back 1,000 liquidity provided tokens. Now this pool has 1,500 XRP and 1,500 USD and 3,000 of these liquidity provider tokens. Alice, 2,000 liquidity provided tokens represents two thirds shares of the total liquidity, while Bob's 1,000 only represents one third. These LP tokens can be redeemed for a proportional share of the assets in the pool allowing liquidity to providers to earn from trading fees and voting parameters. So you put money in, XRP, USD, you get a percent back in your liquidity provider tokens. You now earn whatever percentage of that liquidity pool. People start using your pool, you start earning back money based upon the trading fees and votes, right? You start getting some XRP back here. The proposal, the proposal introduces several new transaction types, included deposits, withdrawers, trades, and bids. These transactions allow users to interact with the automated market maker, depositing and withdrawing assets, trading between assets, and bidding for special privileges. The pricing mechanism. An XLS30D is based on a constant product formula, which maintains the product of the quantities of two assets in the pool as a constant. This ensures that the relative price of the asset changes as trades occur. The proposal also introduces a voting mechanism for settling the trading fee. Liquidity provided token holders can vote on the fee with their vote weight by the number of LP tokens they hold. So the more you hold, the higher your vote's gonna be counted for. This allows the community of liquidity providers to have a say in how the AMA operates. One unique feature of the XLS30D is the continuous auction mechanism. This allows LP token holders to bid for a 24-hour slot that grants them trading advantages such as discounted fees. The XLS30D proposal is really complex, but it's designed to provide a flexible automated market maker system on the XRP ledger. It allows for a variety of trading and liquidity provision strategies, and it gives the LP token, so you, as the LP token holder, the rate and the say of how this is going to operate. Now, so let me speculate on institutional usage. By depositing large asset holdings into the automated market maker, institutions could earn fees from trades within the pool, turning idle assets into revenue generators. So this is pretty much where it's almost like a staking mechanism, right? You put your pool in, you build it up, people use your pool, you start benefiting back, getting paid back, in the fees based upon trading. And you're gonna be able to vote on all these rules. Automated market makers could aid in price discovery, especially for new or less liquid assets. Institutions can leverage the automated market makers to create markets for these assets, providing liquidity and helping establish a market price. No more speculation. Market price will now be based on utility to demand, right? The AMAs, these automated market makers, AMAs are massive folks. Goes on to say, for the institutions issuing their own tokens, AMAs can be a mechanism for distribution. By creating a pool with their token and other asset, users can buy and sell tokens, helping to distribute it more widely and efficiently. Folks, automated market makers are going to be massive. You want to talk about price discovery? You want to talk about earning money on your XRP? You give it up to the pool, you get back to the, these LP tokens, you start earning on fees. Don't forget about these though. Before we jump into more, Hardcore Lions, folks, check them out. Link below, 30% back in XRP for holding them. Who remembers David Schwartz chiming in, talking about how to profit from the automated market making strategies? He put a whole thread out on this. A whole thread. Talking about the same way. You will be able to earn money back, tokens back, XRP back by putting your XRP into these pools and earning based upon those trading fees. This is coming. This is going to take XRP to the next level, everyone. You don't have to participate. This is strictly up to you what you want to do. But the more you put in, the more LP tokens you get back, the more voting rights and voting power you have on that pool. Aaron Nizel said this. We're going to jump into Bitstamp. 
I don't know if there's any connection, but Bitstep is the most important on-demand liquidity exchange, and co-founder of Bitstep is on the board of Standy Trust Custody, which is a poli signed subsidiary. Weezy put out, Bitstep has served as the gateway for, for, for facilitating access to the Ripple network. Ripple's president, Monica Long, said the company's recent stake acquisition in the European crypto exchange Bitstamp will help further grow the company's international pre presence and diversification beyond payments. Bitstamp put this out tomorrow, which is today. They're taking XRP to the next level. They tagged XRP, the XRP ledger as well. This question is, what is brewing here? What is going on? Well, if we look at the top cryptocurrencies exchanges, we can see Bitstamp's doing about 136 million in 24 hour, hour volume. You're probably thinking, you're probably guessing, they're probably going to make XRP a base pair to different currencies. It already is. It's already a base pair to the euro and to the USD. So what could Bitstamp have up their sleeve here is the question. And we know Ripple has a stake in it. Here's the article from 2023 where Ripple acquired a stake in the European cryptocurrency exchange Bitstamp. So something is brewing here. It's not going to be XRP being relisted. It's already listed. It's not going to be XRP as a base pair because it's already a base pair to the euro and to the USD. So what could they be doing that's going to take this to the next level? If I had to take a stab at it and I had to take a guess at it, they are going to be doing something that's going to tie them in as an on and off ramp for institutions. It's gonna have something to do with institutions and institutional investors and possibly being tied in to central banks and to remitters around the world because they have clearance over in the UK and we just seen the new paper come out published from the Bank of England with the Interledger. So perhaps they're going to start using pathfinding, which would put all of these cryptos on a level playing field and or put XRP on a level playing field through pathfinding. And if they tie in the interledger, the interledger would put all these cryptocurrencies on a level playing field. What the interledger protocol does is it goes out and looks at all the different cryptocurrencies that are out there and it finds the cheapest one to use, which is always going to be XRP when you compare it to Ethereum and Bitcoin, folks. Stay tuned. A lot coming on this. I'm going to leave it like that. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.